CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions, 51 through 55. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 51. A developer encounters an error message, vt-x forward slash ept is not supported on this platform, while attempting to install virtualization software on their workstation. Which of the following component upgrades will most likely fix the issue? The answer is A. Processor. The complete error message is, virtualized Intel VT-X forward slash EPT is not supported on this platform. And when encountered, it suggests that the current processor lacks the necessary hardware virtualization support, known as Intel VT-X with extended page tables. Without this feature, the system cannot effectively run virtualization software. Upgrading the processor to one that includes support for VT-X forward slash EPT would address this issue, enabling the installation and proper functioning of virtualization software on the workstation. Question 52. A user reports that their mobile device's screen is not auto-rotating. The technician started by ensuring the feature was enabled and then restarted the device. Unfortunately, the problem persisted. What should the technician do next to troubleshoot the issue? The answer is A. Calibrate the phone sensors. Auto rotation functionality hinges on the precise operation of a device's gyroscope and accelerometer sensors. These sensors work in tandem to detect the device's orientation in real time, allowing the screen to adjust accordingly. By calibrating these sensors, the device's software can fine-tune its responsiveness, ensuring that auto-rotation operates smoothly and accurately. This step addresses potential discrepancies in sensor readings, which could be the underlying cause of the auto-rotation issue. Question 53. A user in a corporate environment can only view files stored in a shared Windows folder but cannot make any changes to them due to the security settings configured using NTFS permissions. Which of the following terms best describes this type of logical security control? The answer is D. ACL. NTFS permissions utilize access control lists, or ACLs, to define and manage access to files and folders on Windows operating systems. When a user is limited to read-only access on a shared network folder, it indicates that their permissions are governed by ACLs, ensuring that they can view but not modify the contents. Question 54. A user is attempting to modify system settings on their Windows computer, but they encounter a UAC prompt, which prevents the requested action. Which of the following solutions would allow the user to proceed with the modification? The answer is A. Add the user to the local admin group. User Account Control, or UAC prompts, are designed to prevent unauthorized changes to system settings by requiring administrator approval. Elevating user privileges by adding the user to the local administrator group allows them to bypass UAC prompts and make the necessary modifications to system settings. This ensures that only authorized users with elevated privileges can make changes to critical system configurations, enhancing security and preventing accidental or malicious modifications. Question 55. A user is trying to access a secure internal application but encounters an error message stating, the certificate has expired or is not yet valid. The technician confirms that others can access the application without any problems. What should the technician do next to resolve the issue? The answer is D. Verify the computer's date and time. When users encounter certificate validity issues, it is important to consider the accuracy of the system's date and time settings. Certificates are bound by a validity period. If the system's date and time are inaccurate, it can misinterpret the certificate status, leading to errors indicating that certificates are expired or not yet valid, even when they are within their validity period. 
Therefore, ensuring the correct date and time on the user's computer is paramount to resolving such issues effectively. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.